All right. What is up, everybody? It is Bismo here. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my multiverses tier list. So I have played a bit over 20 hours of the game so far. So I'm a bit more casual. I watched a good amount of videos on it. But this is just my take of like when I see a character in a lobby and just from my experiences of against playing each of these characters, how I feel. I don't know why Rick is on here yet. Uh, he hasn't been released just quite yet, but soon. But basically, I'm just going to be going through each character individually based on my experiences and just based what on what just based on what my my instincts are. When I see this character pop up, I'm like, oh, shit, is this guy going to fuck me up or am I going to be messing them up? There might be a little bit of bias, but, you know, that's why it's my tier list, yo. But yeah, this is on tiermaker.com. You guys should be able to find this if you want to do one yourself. But without further ado, we're just going to start along this list and go. Uh, I will say the characters I pl have played the most are definitely Arya is my main. Got a good amount of Shaggy in me. Then it begs Bunny as well. And I've played against all these other ones quite a bit. So let's get into this. So we've got Gizmo. Gizmo to start. You know, Gizmo, that's a funny one to start with. You know, Gizmo rhymes with Bismo. You know what I'm saying? All right. So Gizmo, they, he's pretty new. Or It's pretty new, I guess. And... Yeah, I would say that I would give him a solid B. Like, he's not, he's not, like, crazy. But he's got some dangerous things on the field that do some damage. Like, I feel like I'm usually messing him up when I'm playing with Arya. But those, like, some of his abilities definitely do some damage. We'll see. I, I may adjust this as I go. All right. We got Morty. Morty, I gotta say, is a solid A. I feel like I'm just always getting smacked around by him. Just getting smacked around. I mean, the abilities he's got, they go crazy. They go crazy. Right, we got Taz from Looney Tunes, a bruiser. I gotta say, not very threatening. Whenever he does his tornado spin, I mean, you just gotta watch out for that. And other than that, I, I just, it's not that, not that big of a deal. Lebron. Lebron, his projectiles, you know, can be, can be stinky. Um, he can do some damage, but I wouldn't say he's overall super, like, I'm not like, oh, oh no. I'm going to have to put him at B. All right, we got the Iron Giant. This guy's a tank, and it is usually in games, like, I play a lot of Super Smash Bros, and in games like this, dude, in games like this, you know, a big character is usually pretty easy to deal with for the most part. But he's tough. Like, he's sometimes, he's he, he might be easy to hit, but jeez, is he a tank. It takes forever to kill him, and he's always, he's a, he has just such a big hitbox when he's swinging, and it does a ton of damage too, and uh, it's pretty easy for to you to get hit by him. He's honestly a danger. I'd have to put him as a solid A. Close, push an S, push an S. Okay, so we got Steven Universe support character. Can't say there's really much that's super special about him. I'm not like intimidated when he's out there. We'll give him a we'll give him a C for now. We'll give him a C. We've got Garnet also from Steven Universe. I gotta say, I don't know if I've ever, don't quote me, I mean, I'm sure you could find my live stream somewhere, but I'm not sure if I've ever lost to a Garnet. <laughs> they just, I don't know, she's just easy to hit, and I, I just feel like she doesn't do much damage or something, but I'm gonna actually put Garnet all the way at D. So, Rhyndog, we've got next. Uh, I've actually, I played a little bit with Rhyndog, and I gotta say, he's kind of fun, and he's pretty easy to play with for the most part like he's a pretty standard i mean although he's a support character he's pretty standard he's definitely got some tools i would say he's at least b he you could argue a though you could argue a could definitely argue a we've got got bugs bunny next and i gotta say when i see him going against a bugs bunny i'm just uh, i'm i'm ticked off uh, <laughs> i feel like the player's gonna be toxic but I, I'm just, I feel like I'm always getting smacked around by Bugs Bunny. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Bugs Bunny S tier. I'm, I mean, it says that he's a mage, but I feel like I'm getting smacked around and hit around. Freaking, how many times I get up hit by his, like, what is it, a pan he uses or something I get smashed up with? It is pretty stinky. So, Jake, we got next. Jake is pretty funky. Jake is pretty funky. And I feel like a lot of times when I'm playing at Jake, usually they're pretty good. They're either gonna be, like, really good or, or, like, don't not know how to use him. I feel like he might be a little bit more of a difficult bruise, a uh, bruiser to use. But I gotta say, like for the most part, he's pretty solid. Um, I, you could say A. I would say you could say A. So Superman next, the tank, tank kind of a bruiser, but 
Whenever I go against a Superman, I, it's pretty rare that I feel like I'm getting just dominated. And I feel like he's pretty easy to hit for the most part. And just don't get punished unless you really get grabbed by him. If you get grabbed at the end of the map and thrown, that's a dangerous tool. And I think that kind of saves him. But for the most part, I would say he's pretty standard and I'd put him at a B. Not that dangerous. Okay. We've got uh, Velma. Velma next from Scooby-Doo. She just got an update. I hear. She just got an update. When I see Velma... Like, for the most part, I wouldn't say she's, like, OP, but it's hard to read when, what's coming from her, which makes her definitely dangerous at times. Yeah, I would put her at a solid, a solid, solid B, we'll say. All right, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn do be annoying to play against, but also fun to use. I feel like she's pretty tough, pretty solid character all around. I gotta, I gotta say that she's gotta be at least A, probably, probably S, though, probably S, if I, if I had to go with it. Yeah, also, I just want to say, I'm sure I'm going to get flamed for having Iron Giants so high up, but, like, play Smash, like, like, Ganondorf, yeah, he's not very good in Smash, but Iron Giant, like, he's big, he's hard to kill, and he does damage, bro, I, I don't, I don't care, I don't care, this is just coming for me, again, I, this is, a, I'm a normie, I am just a casual player. So we've got Wonder Woman next, I'd say she's uh, pretty standard for the most part, I would put her at B. Finn, I gotta put it A. He's always messing me up, I feel like. His his moves are pretty annoying. He he has priority, I feel like, in a lot of moves. It's lists him as an assassin, but I feel like he's more of a bruiser at times. Batman, whenever I play against a Batman, I I'm another character where I'm either gonna mess this person up or or I'm just gonna get destroyed by all these stinky projectiles. Like, if you've got a Batman player that knows how to play Batman, it's pretty tough because of all the tools he has to use. So this he's got to be at least a maybe s like you could put him like maybe like an a plus tier a plus type tier um we'll put him at the top of a we'll move iron giant like far back a like he's close to b but that's just how i feel batman definitely has the potential all right shaggy he i can't say he has like a ton of like tools that you're not expecting and most players start with playing them so they kind of understand what to expect but i gotta say he does some mad damage yo he does some mad damage uh, although like his specials aren't like crazy he's always be hitting hard and it's really not it's not too hard to play him in my opinion also because you get taught with him so you would automatically know kind of how to play him i gotta say he's a solid a tier for sure all right we got aria the assassin i'd like to think i know how to play with aria I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting better, but like, bro, she, she, her tools are insane. Like, if you know how to use Arya, like that face, face stolen, you can, especially in teams, you can snipe both the other, both the other opposing players, freeze them and be able to hit them. And that up special off the map. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That thing, that thing is OP. S tier, no bias at all. 100%. 100%. All right, we got Tom and Jerry, similar to Bugs Bunny. Whenever I see him, I just kind of get ticked off. I, I, it's going to be a toxic matchup. I, I would say Bugs Bunny also reaches S tier simply because of all the, like, you throw, oh my gosh, there's just so much crap he can do. It, it's just messed up. He throws Jerry out, like, you got that to just deal with in the background. It's like there's almost two characters at once, yo. Yeah, looking at this, I, I'm fine with this tier list. And you guys can comment, you can flame me, say what you want, but again, casual player. But this is just my, my season one tier list so far as of what's the date here? September 19th. That's when this is being recorded. Yeah, that's my tier list. If you guys thought this was a dope little video, press that like button, help a brother out, subscribe for more videos. And again, let me know your tier list or what where I went wrong, <laughs> where I went very wrong in the comments, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm firm on the Iron Giant. I don't care. I don't care what y'all saying. Iron Giant is stinky, bro. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.